Hey everybody, and welcome to a game. A game that has not seen the light of day outside Japan, but it is a game that must be played. Fire Emblem, New Mystery of the Emblem. That's right, the sequel to Shadow Dragon. And uh, I figured, you know, that, um, might as well play it now because, hey, I just recently finished Shadow Dragon, so I might as well uh, do the sequel. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, this game never came out outside Japan because Nintendo likes to torture us all the time. Sometimes I wonder why I keep coming back to them. I don't know. But some kind soul... Some kind soul out there has given us a, an English translation of the game, just like Fire Emblem 6. So, I am very happy about that. And because of that, I've, I've been able to play it. Now, here's the deal. As far as difficulty goes. Alright. So, um, here's the thing. May okay, so first of all, I'm not I'm not a masochist, so maniac and lunatic are off the table. Now here's the here's the deal. Normal and hard mode are pretty much the same as far as the enemies go. The only difference is oh no, enemies are stronger than normal, I guess. Well, here's the thing about hard mode. You see that reinforcements act as soon as they appear. That that same BS happened in Fire Emblem 6 and I didn't I wasn't initially aware of it and man I hated that now I gotta say though normal is actually kinda tough this game I've played it once and it, it's actually pretty hard it's a lot harder than Shadow Dragon so I think because I'm not a masochist I'm gonna go with normal uh, turn on gameplay tutorial. Nah. Nah. You guys know. Now, I will I will be doing classic, though. So, you don't have to worry about that. Sweet! It's Anna! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get to make our own person. So, I forgot about this. This was one of the... I think this was the first Fire Emblem that... Uh, Chris, why is that the... No. Uh, this was the first Fire Emblem that you could make your own person. I think. Pretty sure. Now, who did... Who do we want to use here? I already know who I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a Pegasus Knight, so I'm gonna make a female. The question is, what am I gonna name her? Should I should I be a retard and like do another character from another game like Florina or something or should I name her I don't know otherwise I would name her Luna because you know Luna Mango but I don't know what the, it's freaking uh, I think it I just think it would be funny problem is I, I don't know if I can make her look like Florina what about Tana. Because I really like Tana a lot. I should, <laughs> I should name her Kata. <laughs> Wait, what? No, 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 no. I don't want large. I want default letters. Should I do it? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm doing it. I I'm doing it. Oh, man. Done. Yes. Not a lot of people know this, but Tana was actually a part of this game. Yeah, I'm gonna make a Peg Knight. The, f the first game I played, I did play a female the first time. Oh look, right hair color. Uh, but I made her a mage. Let's see. I mean, you can, oh, I could do Alyssa from Awakening. <laughs> that looks funny to me. <laughs> Well, I like this hair. This hair is the closest to Tana. As far as color goes, that's probably the closest hair color, too. Yeah. 
Wait, I'm not done. Tana has really round eyes. She does not have a monocle, though. It's like the default's the best. Let's go with that. Yes! I should have named... I should have done... I should have done Sheeta and then have Kata in the game. That'd be funny. What sort of circumstance? I don't think this matters. I don't think this part matters. I don't even remember what I what I chose, but um, well, Tana is a noble. Guess we're going with noble's child. What's your most impressive attribute? Uh, what's Tana's most impressive attribute? Kindness. Wisdom? No, I wouldn't say wisdom. Diversity? I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. I guess kindness. What kind of future? Enlightened? Wealthy? Recluse? Probably enlightened. Thanks, Anna. Alright. Here we go. Oh yeah, this game has prologues up the wazoo. It's got like eight of them. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, the pro it's kind of cool. Like the prologue story is a nice story in and of itself. Marriage doesn't really play a huge part in this game, so I'm not going to bother making a male character to romance the female character, so it doesn't really matter. If I play, If I ever do Awakening, I will make a male. You know, cause I gotta gotta hit on all the waifus, you know. Should I do myself on the Hudo meter? That sounds kind of egotistical. I don't know. Katarina. Well, I could go ahead and do Katarina on the Hudo meter while we're here. Alright, so Katarina gets a... Eh, what should she do? What should we do? I'd say a... I'd say a four on the cute side. I, th I think that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and do myself, too. Because, you know, I'm, I'm an ego egomaniac, I guess. What can I say? I'll wait till I pop back up on the screen. Luke. I never used Luke. Or Rhodey. I might use, I'll probably use Luke, because he's kind of funny, but I never really used him. Alright, so let's see, myself, um, I don't know, kind of neutral. I'd, I would give myself a 1 <laughs> on the cute side. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Alright. I hope you guys are reading this, because I, I, I totally wasn't reading any of that. Alright. Here's Jagan. Or Jagan. He's back! I don't think he does anything in this game. He just He's just like an advisor. Which is fine, because, you know, pre-promotion. Yeah, I don't even use him. Nerve-wracking. I guess this is Tana as... An older woman. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. Yeah. Sure, I'll partner with you. All right, let's do this. Let's go. The test. Yeah, I don't know why this game never came out over here. Well, actually, I kind of know why. It's because sales of Fire Emblem were kind of in the crapper after Shadow Dragon. But I was so disappointed. So disappointed because... I remember reading about it. And I was like, oh, sweet, they're making another Fire Emblem game. Yes! You can make your own character, and oh, man, it's so awesome. And then, like, 
it just disappeared and I, I was like okay wh whatever happened to that fire emblem game and I looked it up and apparently it never came out in North America I was like oh man but like I said some kind soul has deemed it worthy of being translated and I'm eternally grateful so whoever you are thank you I just realized I picked the most basic girl all right we can pretty much uh, we can just attack if we want I don't have to I don't have to wait yeah I thought about doing hard mode but just the enemies attacking at the at the beginning of the turn I just I hate that I hate that crap I hated it in Fire Emblem 6 and I hate it now that alone see honestly they, they wouldn't even have to make the enemies harder that alone would be enough to make it harder because man I got screwed so many times in Fire Emblem 6 because of that and when I was playing through this game I um I got screwed so many times in this game or well I, I saw where I would have gotten screwed if I was playing hard mode because there were a lot of instances where like the enemies spawn at just random times and you don't even you don't even know it was coming and it's like what the no it's like if this were hard mode I would have been I would have been dead pretty much so Prince Marth yeah everybody's a year older but some some people in this game look like they're five years older marth looks marth definitely looks older he actually looks better in my opinion than he did in uh shadow dragon yep previous war you remember that yeah, I remember that. You know what I should have done? Dang, I should have done this Let's Play a year after I finished Shadow Dragon, because it would have actually made sense. Oh, well. The video game world does not abide by the rules of the real world. Peas is not something one can simply take for granted. One simply does not take peace for granted. Sure was, Katarina. Sure was. I don't know how accurate this translation is, but I don't care because it seems good enough. All right, um, you know what? I think this is actually going to do it for the first episode. I know it's kind of short, but this is kind of a... Um, it's just an introductory episode, so I will go ahead and end it here. And uh, next time, Prologue 2. See you guys in the next part.